consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. If you want absolutely awesome abs, try our target training workout. We're starting off with concentration crunches for the upper abdominal muscles. Clark and Lisa are already in position. Got our feet up on the bench. Small of our back pressed into the mat. Shoulder blades up, hands behind the head, chin open, lifting up for one. From this position, up again, and even higher for three, and that's one. We'll do a set of 15. Up, two, three, and two. Up, lift, exhale. Three, up, four, good. Up, two, three, and five. Up, two, lift, six. Great. Seven, let's go. Our goal today is to flatten and tone and strengthen the abdominal muscles. Lift, two, three, and one. Lift, up, exhale, two, up, good. Two more, lift straight up, and last one, holding it up at the top, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Whew, feel those. Okay, our next exercise is called the crossover, and it's for the obliques or the side area of the abs. Down the same position, hands behind the head. We'll be twisting in towards our viewers at home first, lifting up, and down to the left, up, and two. Elbows open, leading with the shoulders. Three, good, up, four. Concentrate on feeling the muscles. This is an abdominal exercise, not an arm exercise. Squeeze with the abs, flex it, good. Clark's got an eight pack over there, not a six pack, he has two extra. He's in excellent shape. <laughs> up. Let's do 10 more, counting them down. Make these count. Notice our shoulder blades are staying up the entire time. Remember to breathe. Shoulders leading, elbows open. Good. Last five, four, three, and one. Okay, that was great. Our next exercise is called the knee tuck and V up. The basic idea here is to sit on the edge of the bench. Notice Clark and Lisa's form, overhand grip, tummy's tight. You bring your knees in, straighten them, and straight up. That's one. Up, exhale, and two. Good. And three. Lift, four. Five, perfect. Remember to breathe, keep the abs tight. Seven, we'll do 15. Eight, what's nice about this exercise, you can do it right at home along with us. Nine, we'll do 15. This is 10, and down, in, out, up, and down. Good. This feels great. Two more. And last one. Woo! Okay, so if you want abs with flex appeal, make sure you give these exercises a try. It's time for our flex appeal pro gym leg workout. Ready, Clark? I'm fired up, Jenna. Ready to go. All right. We're starting off with a squat. This is the most basic leg exercise and my favorite one. Chin up, tummy tight, lowering down, and up for one. I like to go nice and deep so my quads are parallel to the ground. Squeezing the glutes on the way up, flexing the quads, exhaling. 
as I stand up. Good form, Keanu. Down nice and deep, press. How often do you train your legs? Once a week. I'll start off with quadriceps like you're doing and work my way through. I don't normally do squats, though. I'm excited to do them today. Oh, this feels so good. This is the, my favorite leg exercise. If I had to pick one to do, it would be this one. Five more. This is our warm-up set. I was going to say, don't you normally squat a lot heavier than this? <laughs> a little heavier. Two, and last one. Okay. Let me help you back. All right, your turn. I'm just going to use the same weight, warm up with this, just to get my knees ready to go. I'm going to move these plates, if you don't mind. I sure. like to be flat on the ground. I prefer having the plates under my heels. Like Clark said, he has his feet flat. It's a personal preference. Find what works best for you. Again, he's getting the complete range of motion. A little snapping and popping going on in my knees. <laughs> now I, don't want, I don't squat. <laughs> his, his head is forward for the viewers at home. Chin up. Abs are tight. Keeping the body centered. He's not leaning forward. Got his back straight. Perfect. Maybe two more. Okay. Okay. Let's add some more weight. All right. How much you want, Deanna? I'm going to take off the tins and put quarters on. 25. All right. It's a gym talk for 25. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to go ahead and squat you. Okay. I'm going to do these flat footed, which I call booty squats, which booty because squats. <laughs> flat footed puts more emphasis on your glutes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and squat you with your waist. Comfortable first. Sometimes I go ahead and squat under the arms, Karen, but. It's kind of yell for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, when you're training with your partner, make sure and ask them how they like to be squatted. I prefer a waist squat on the squat. Some people like the bar squat, elbow, or uh, underarm. It's just a real easy help out. You don't want to. I don't want to lift up on you too hard. I'll just kind of help you through it if you get a stick. Sticking point. Yeah. Two more. Come on. Woo. Two. Two. Good set. Thank you. Feel that one. All right, get ready. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 45s. 45s, you want the red ones or the black ones? Let's go with the black okay. today. Let's save the red for later. So many decisions. <laughs> you all right? Can you spot? No, I think I'll be fine. I'm just going to go for 10 reps here on this set. Okay. I kind of want to go a little bit heavy. Now here in our Pro Gym Workout, we're showing you exercises that you can do in the gym, or if you're fortunate enough to have a squat rack at home, you can also do it at home. Now notice here his chin is up, shoulders are back. No rounding of the shoulders, that's very important when you're doing the squat. Perfect, you can really see the development in his quads. He has terrific quadriceps. Good. Okay, okay you ready to move on to the leg curl? I love doing hamstrings. Okay, this exercise is terrific for the leg bicep or the hamstring muscle. Clark, do you want to explain this one? Why? Yeah, you know, Keanu, I've noticed a lot of people neglect their hamstring, and it's really important that, they do this, that I do this exercise for mine. Go ahead and squeeze at the top and stretch at the bottom. And do 10 reps. Four. Four. Five. Hold it for a beat at the top, Keanu, and stretch at the bottom. Six. Six. There you go. That's right. Like Clark Seven. said, complete range of motion. Keep the pelvis down, no arching of the back. I find that when I keep my elbows down, it keeps my hips down. One more. There you go. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and... What weight do you want? I'll see that 20 and add you 50. Let's go 70. <laughs> I'll raise you 30. <laughs> okay. Did Let's my leg work out? Did you like? Yeah. Okay. In my leg workout, I like starting off with the squats to warm up the quads and moving on to specific body parts like the hamstrings. You can really see it working here in Clark's legs. He has tremendous development in the back of his legs. I like squeezing at the top. It feels really good perfect. right there. See it right in through here. It's a perfect flexipula specimen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay. do five more. And spotters, if your partner needs a spot, help right here at the arm of the machine. Good. Come on. Three. Pump it up. Two. And one. Great. Oh, man. Okay. That was great. Let me do my other set. 
How much are you gonna have? Uh, thirty, please. Thirty. Okay. Let's work those things. Okay. All right. We'll do ten. One. Okay, to squeeze it hard at the top. Can I find if I squeeze really hard at the top and then it goes deep into the muscle fiber? Six. Seven. Got three more? Eight. Unlike you, Keanu, I can count pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's picking on me. Okay. All right, you're set. Okay. Well, my last set, you know, I counted nine and you had seven. <laughs> I'm going to go up to 100 this set. Okay. Remember, all these exercises you can do because they're basic machines found in most gyms. Started with the squats, moving on leg curl, and then we're going to move on to the leg extension machine. Good. Notice here the alignment. His knees are in proper alignment with the axis of the arm here. And make sure to find the proper adjustment on each machine. Good. Three more. Pumped. Two. Come on. One more. One more. Up. And. Great. Okay, let's move on to the leg extension machine. This is terrific for the quadriceps for shaping and defining the upper area of the thigh. We have some shaped and defined thighs, <laughs> I might add. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Should I add a little more weight? I like this exercise. That's yeah, a great one. You see the separation of Keanu's legs here. What the slang term for this would be the teardrop muscle. You know, and it doesn't really matter how big someone's legs are, as long as that separation and definition is there. They look great. This exercise is important for strengthening the area around the knee. I like to hold it for a beat at the top, flexing down slow. Now, that's important for sports. If someone has weak knees, this is a great area to, you know, I found with my knees, this strengthens that up. Come on. Three, two, and Squeeze. one. Squeeze. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Here's right. that. That feels good. Yeah. In between sets on the leg extension, it's a good idea to stretch out your quads with a slight pull. And go a little heavier here. Okay. And we'll go a little more than that even. The sun's got me fired up. <laughs> Work so out good. hard. Great. Perfect. I like to train my quadriceps because a lot of times when I compete in a bodybuilding contest, this is what helps me win. I so. bet you win a lot too. I tried. <laughs> Clark won the uh, Muscle Mania contest. Well, I didn't win it. I placed third in my you class a few months oh, ago. Yeah. Saying. I appreciate the... <laughs> <laughs> the plug. Yeah. Okay, three more. Come on up. And if you want to spot, you're right here on the arm. Two and one. Oh, okay. Man. How much did you have there? Um, I had... 50? 50. All right. So next time, if you want an awesome leg workout and you're training in the gym, try these exercises because they really work. Take a look. If I could only do one exercise for the lower body, it would be squats. They tighten the glutes and firm the inner and outer thighs. Remember to squat down slowly and flex the quads as you stand up. Training partners can spot at the waist or the bar, whichever they prefer. Leg extensions define the legs and make them look great. They give your thighs separation and warm up the knees for other exercises. Start off with a light weight and work your way up to a heavier set. Add shape and definition to the back of the upper leg or the hamstring muscles with leg curls. It's important to look great coming and going so your legs look attractive from all angles. Do three to four sets of each exercise, 10 to 15 repetitions. Clark and I are back in black, and we're getting ready to blast our biceps into shape. We're the bad boys of bodybuilding here. Oh, wow, a lot back of these black. bad boys yeah. of bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with the barbell curls. Now, this is an excellent exercise to add muscularity and size to the biceps. Clark's arms look terrific. Feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Now, all these exercises wow. we're doing today for the biceps are basic. You can do them anywhere, right at home along with us or here on the beach. Good. Two more. Good pump. You know, Keanu, I really enjoy training with you because it's great to have, you know, a female workout partner sometimes. Because okay. I kind of like to show off, you know, and it makes me work <laughs> a little bit harder. We got a lot to show off there, Clark. <laughs> 
Co-training is fun. You can train with your husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. It gives you something healthy and positive to do together. It gets you out of the house. It gets you into a different environment. <laughs> doing something healthy and fun. It's always great for the relationship. Definitely. I'm doing this with the dumbbells. Similar to what Clark was doing, but each of our arm is moving independently. <clears throat> Five more. Sticking to basics is really important too. You to get some people try and get so creative with their workouts that they try and reinvent the wheel. Some of the most basic exercises are the best things you can do for your body parts. That's the truth. Okay, what's next? Okay, concentration curve to add peak to the bicep area. You can do this exercise seated or standing. The idea here is just to let the um, elbow hang on the inside of the knee, twisting the wrist at the top, feeling the contraction. The bicep, squeezing at the top. I love this movement for a, it's a good peaking movement. Like you said, twisting at the top. You notice it gives me a real good peak on my bicep. Right there. Let me keep you yours. Peak at the peak. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what I like about this too, if you do the other arm, is that you can spot yourself if it's too heavy. You can just give yourself a little help at the wrist. Not only is it great to work out together, it's also a good place to make new friends at the gym instead of going to bars or nightclubs. It's a healthier atmosphere to meet new people. Say that again. And that's one. Oh. That's a great exercise. I love doing concentration curls. Good. Yeah. Okay, incline curls are our third exercise using the incline bench. Basic idea, you just grab two dumbbells, lay back, press the small of the back into the bench. Again, twisting the wrist at the top, supinating the wrist, and up. Great. Looking good. Come on, Clark. This one's really good. It keeps you from cheating. Just come down straight at the bottom, contract it hard at the top. It's an excellent movement. Because you're on the incline bench, it is stricter. You can't really rock your body and swing the weights up. Yeah. If you need a spot, I can help him right here on one arm, but two arms is a little hard. Yeah, you're gonna have long arms to be able to reach around <laughs> both sides. Okay. Okay. I think I'll do want? the um, the tenth. Okay. And do you and your wife train together? On occasion, we take the kids into the gym. My kids think the gym is like Disneyland or something. They love that place. <laughs> it's the greatest place on earth. That's good. So you've got them started early. You're a good yeah. role model. Oh yeah, we got to get them in the gym, Everyone. get them training. My daughter's so beautiful. My son's gonna have to be big and buff to. Keep the young boys away when she gets older. <laughs> Come on. Five more. Squeeze it up. Four. Three. Come on, young. Up. Two. And, and one. good job. Whew. Excellent set. Great workout. That's awesome. It was back to the basics in today's home gym workout. Standing dumbbell curls are a terrific way to add size and muscularity to your arms. Shock your muscles into shape by alternating training with both light and heavy weights. Use a variety of weightlifting equipment to keep your routines a little less routine. Use dumbbells, barbells, and the Kiana Fitness Band to stay pumped. Concentrate on feeling the muscles contract and release to get the most from each rep. Co-ed training is a fun way to stay in shape and spend quality time with friends and loved ones. Try concentration curls for firmer arms. Add an adjustable bench to your home gym and have more exercises to choose from. Incline curls are an easy way to add extra peak to your biceps. Do three to four sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. Stay tuned to Kiana's Flex Appeal because we're rolling our way to health and fitness with a fun cross-training segment. The following segment is brought to you by Kiana's Fitness Club. If you want Flex Appeal, join my new fitness club. Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll tell you how to become an official member. Inline skating is a fun way to stay in shape. It's a great way to firm your thighs, trim your abs, and strengthen the heart. Come on, let's take a skate together.
The best thing about cross training is that you can do it year round. Inline skating is great because it helps out for those winter sports like downhill skiing. Inline skating is a fun way to train the lower body. It tightens and firms the inner and outer thighs and the glutes as well. Since inline skating is great for the lower body, lift weights for the upper body. The incline bench press will strengthen your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Work your way through the complete range of motion and flex the pecs at the top of the movement. Side lateral raises are an easy way to add size to your deltoids. This exercise is convenient to do anywhere, at the gym, at home, or even at the beach. Do 3-4 to four sets, 10-15 to 15 repetitions for well-developed athletic shoulders. Firm your thighs and glutes even more with a few sets of squats. Lower your body until your thighs are parallel to the beach and flex the quads as you stand up. Inhale as you squat down and exhale as you straighten your legs. Hey Flex Appealers, don't go anywhere, we'll be back with more fitness fun. Let's dive ahead into the next Tiana's Flex Appeal. Swimming is one of the best cross-training sports. It's great for endurance and for maintaining flexibility. Kiana's Flex Appeal was filmed at Super Club's Breezes Bahamas, where everything you can eat, drink, and do is included in one price.